When I started my first job in PT, I remember looking at the blank sheet of paper and I felt like I had writer's block. And yes, we were still using paper back in 2016. That's pretty bad, huh? With every new patient, it felt like I was starting from scratch. I was filling in all the parts of the typical soap note, writing out the subjective, the objective, the assessment, and the plan. But I knew there had to be a faster way to approach my note writing, so I developed a system of documentation templates that I still use today and you can find at ptprogress.com templates. And those templates have helped hundreds and hundreds of therapists save multiple hours each week on their documentation. But today I want to share a way that you can speed up your note writing whether you decide to use documentation templates like mine or you're just trying to figure out better note writing on your own. I call it the primer method and it's a strategy you can use to speed up your note writing while crafting even better documentation. So let's get started with it. And a big thanks to MedBridge Education for sponsoring today's video, giving you $175 off of unlimited CEUs when you use the promo code PTPROGRESS. All right, so the P in primer stands for problem. People usually come to physical therapy because they have a problem. Let's say they have shoulder pain. Obviously, that's a problem, but writing the patient has five out of 10 shoulder pain today for every daily treatment note is kind of lazy and it doesn't really set your note up to reflect the skilled treatment that you provided that day. Even though we identify the problem, it doesn't make for a great subjective statement and that's where the R comes into play. We've identified the problem, but now it's time to relate it to a functional activity. The R in primer stands for relate and we need to get into the habit of asking the patient this follow-up question like this. Since I've seen you last, what kind of activities are still giving you issues because of your shoulder? Because immediately we learn about functional activities that are directly related to the problem, so we write down something like this. The patient reports improved ability to sleep on her right side, but experiences sharp pain in her right shoulder when putting on a shirt. So now our subjective statement has identified a problem and has related it quickly to a functional activity. Not only is your subjective statement done for that note, but now we have something to work on that day instead of just repeating the same exercises and treatments to help general shoulder pain. At this point, you're probably 60 seconds within your treatment session and you've written your subjective line and you have an idea for the rest of the treatments to continue to address their main problems or concern. Now it's time to continue with the actual treatments. The I in primer stands for instruct. As you go through the exercises, and the treatments that day, you're instructing the patient on proper performance of exercises and techniques to relieve symptoms that they may be experiencing. So talk about that in your note within the objective section and the assessment section. Your instructions here are part of what differentiates your skilled treatment from someone else, like an exercise session they can get with a personal trainer. So make notes of those little instructions or the cues that you provide for certain exercises. Here's an example. Verbal cues to retract scapula, eliminate a clicking and pain in the shoulder with external rotation. That's a great line for your assessment section and also leads right into the next part of the primer method. M stands for manage the response. You do this all the time without thinking about it, right? The patient says, ouch, that hurts when I rotate my arm out. So you place a towel under the arm with an exercise like external rotation and it stops hurting. Or you recognize that the exercise is too easy, so you increase the difficulty by adding some resistance or working on other dynamic stability or whatever it is that you do. Whether their response is pain or poor movement quality, or even just difficulty in comprehending the correct technique, you're managing the response. So work that into your assessment to demonstrate the skilled treatment that you provided that day. Here's an example that reflects this concept of managing the response. Active flexion beyond 90 degrees increased shoulder pain, but wall slides to 130 degrees were pain-free following cues to avoid shrugging her shoulders. Anyone can provide exercises to someone, but it takes a skilled therapist like yourself to manage the response and to make adjustments based on your skill level and your expertise. The E in primer stands for educate. And obviously you're not educating the patient only at the end of their session. Patient education happens throughout the treatment, but it can be really easy to forget to write in our notes because honestly it can fit almost anywhere in the soap note. Maybe the patient starts the session with a question about wearing a compression sleeve on their shoulder. You can comment on the patient education within the subjective portion of that note with a subjective statement like this one here. Patient recently purchased a compression sleeve and asked this therapist about using it at night, educated the patient on proper use of compression sleeve and recommended avoiding use while sleeping. That's a great subjective line, but it could have easily fit in the assessment section as well. The point is that you took the time to think about your patient education and how it could fit into your soap note. And now for the final R in the primer method, and that is to review the plan. A typical soap note ends with a section for your plan, and that's a great place to write out notes for the next session or your recommended treatment ideas moving forward, but don't forget to review the plan with a patient as well. Look over their schedule quickly and confirm the next appointment time because you're gonna be surprised with how much this can help with reducing cancellations and no-shows 
but also it gives you a chance to review things like their home exercise program and exercises that you're adding or removing to the plan. You can comment on any of those changes within the section of your soap note as well. The point of the primer method isn't to replace a soap note. It works directly with your soap note, but it goes into more detail because it helps you to tell a story and to relate the patient's problems to functional activities, and it demonstrates how your treatment focuses on getting the patient closer to reaching those functional goals and how you manage their care with skilled treatment and education that day. If you want your documentation to reflect the skilled treatment you actually provided that day, try to use the primer method to guide your note writing. And if you want to speed up your notes even more, combine the primer method with the documentation examples and templates you can find in the description below or at ptprogress.com slash templates where you can save 40% with the documentation bundle. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to catch the next video on how to write a physical therapy evaluation. I'll see you there.